the International Bobsled and Skeleton Federation, the world governing body of the sports of bobsleigh and skeleton, has been in discussions with the International Paralympic Committee for the sports of bobsleigh and skeleton to be included in the program of the 2018 Winter Paralympics in Pyeongchang, Korea. For Ivo Ferriani, the president of the International Bobsled Federation, he has made this a special project. After the Olympic of Torino 2006, somebody asked me to be the mayor. Tiziana Nasi asked me to be the mayor of the Paralympic village in Sestriere. This day, my mind, my open heart was touched. And uh, I decided to work hard for become also a Paralympic sport with a bobsledder. In Park City, Utah, they have seen success with the USA Adapter program, where the athletes have served as forerunners for the World Cups in Park City. But for the chairman of the IBSF Paralympic Committee, David Kurtz, many challenges exist. The International Bobsled and Skeleton Federation has a lot of challenges yet to develop the Paralympic project. We have to get all our national federation members on board, as well as the National Paralympic Committees of all the nations, and we're striving really to meet all these challenges for the various disabilities and make sure we meet the standards of the International Paralympic Committee. Recently, a new form of the sport, model bobsleigh or one-person sleds, have also been accommodating disabled athletes. In St. Moritz, Switzerland, on one of the most prestigious tracks, a famous Paralympic athlete, Heinz Fry, drove a model bobsled down the legendary track, and his accomplishments speak for themselves. He has won 111 marathons worldwide. He's 10 times recipient of the honor of Disabled Sport Athlete of the Year in Switzerland. He has won 14 gold medals in Paralympic Games since 1984. And to see him drive this monobob down the St. Moritz track, the pictures speak for themselves. One of the best Paralympic athletes on the planet, Heinz Fry, and he thinks that Paralympic bobsledding is a good opportunity for handicap athletes. I know a lot of uh, people in wheelchair, they, they have a, a look for the kick a little bit, eh? and so they are more motivation than me maybe and uh, more powerful for these sports finally so i think uh, can be a good idea to bring that to these tracks on the world i think it's really a good story to tell people in wheelchair hey you can do that that's a big chance a, a kick in your life maybe and some people they need that it's no difference between uh, uh, valid or no valid, uh, invalid uh, people, so that's great, it works. Recently at the Olympic track in Innsbruck, the IBSF held a school for Paralympic athletes for Bob and Skeleton, a number of nations sent athletes. And most importantly, the IOC athlete representative for Bob and Skeleton, Adam Pingilly, he spoke about the positive aspects of the sport. I see lots of potential for development here particularly because we're open to quite a few different disabilities of uh, we're athletes with, with various disabilities. And therefore, there's scope for lots of athletes to get involved and for us to be probably quite open with the classification, although we've not got to that stage yet, but there's, there's plenty of opportunity for lots of athletes to get involved, enjoy the excitement, the speed, and the adrenaline of the sports that we do, bobsleigh and skeleton. Speed and exhilaration in the sports also result in crashes sometimes, and the IBSF Medical Commission has taken notes on how they need to accommodate disabled athletes. Crash with pop Paralympic bobsledders will be a different, um, different level of uh, care. There's going to have to be a different way of um, taking care of the injured athletes and, and preparing the medical staff that's at the track on how to deal with um, people that have um, different abilities and disabilities um, different than an able-bodied athlete. But we have, you know, very competent um, medical staff at all the world tracks, so I don't see a reason why we can't um, work on educating them on how to um, take care of Bob's, you know, um, disabled and Paralympic uh, athletes. There's a lot has been accomplished to date by the IBSF in its quest to get the sliding sports of skeleton and bobsleigh in the 2018 Winter Olympic Games. Listen to disabled athlete Kurt Yeager describe the potential of involving disabled athletes in the Olympic sliding sports of bobsleigh and skeleton. I think the future of the sport is, it, I think that the disabled athletes that are going to bring uh, attention to this sport in a huge way because not only will there be a disabled
component to skeleton and bobsled, but the amount of attention that the disabled sports will bring to, you know, the uh, the able-bodied athletes should completely expand upon the whole scope of the entire sport.